Mm -hmm. And with that, actually, we have ourselves a little activity that we're going to run with you guys right. today. Uh, involving uh, some basic programming ideas. Now, this isn't necessarily something where, like, open your laptops, folks, and make sure you have this IDE installed and that you have to have everything ready to go. Instead, we're actually going to run something that's a little bit more uh, unplugged, if you will. Uh, it's it's an activity that uh, some of you, if you actually go to the blog post, yes, believe, the blog post about access, Computer Science Week. Yep, uh, you actually have access to th this exact document that you can follow along with us here. The idea is that we are going to be working together on helping STEMI get to Planet X. Uh, STEMI's purpose is to determine if the planet is safe for us humans to create a new civilization there. Some yep. nice space exploration ideas. Of course, it wouldn't it wouldn't be a season without. Space and you know some some maybe some Star Wars in there. A little bit <laughs> here and there. So uh, the idea here is uh, if if you've got it uh, going on in front of you, you can of course follow along with us, or just use this as a guide and as another time to uh, help you along with along with your students. Or if your team members want to run this as well, you certainly yeah. can. This is definitely geared for younger students. So if you're here <laughs> ready for you know. Our, our high school level programming. Don't worry, we're going to get to that in a little bit. Yep. Uh, but we're going to start with an activity for some younger students. We're going to get STEMI to Planet X. So the first step of this activity when done in the classroom. So if you are in your classroom following along or you you know are working with a group of students, make sure everybody's got their worksheets ready. I've got mine. Uh, we're going to start on our first page here. And we are taking steps to navigate uh, from Earth to Planet X. Now, you might be thinking, how does this fall into coding, right? I'm not writing any code. But when you boil it down to essentials, I mean, for robots, you're writing a program for a robot, but you're basically telling it what tasks to do, yeah, right? You're, you're making a to-do list. Like, like a to-do list, like having a set of instructions ready for it to go that it just has to read through step by step in order to get it done. Right, right. so uh, in order to sort of bring this concept to a, a younger student, we're just going to start with the to-do list, and it's going to be totally unplugged. So we're going to start with 10 steps that might a spaceship might need to take as it leaves our atmosphere and travels through space. So we only get 10 steps, and that's part of the that's a, a design constraint, right? We're going to sit here and figure out what our 10 steps would be. So what do we have to start? I, mean, this, I could we could write a lot of steps here. We, we could. But you can't just write go from Earth to planet X. That's, go that's to space. <laughs> Just big All right. old letters. Go Check to off space. And done. I only needed one step. I don't know oh. why this is so hard. But, <laughs> well, I suppose there are a few things we need to do first, right? Probably. Like, um, what about uh, building a rocket? Do we do we need to build a rocket before we go to space? Yeah. Well, it doesn't say we have. Oh no, we have a spaceship. So I don't think we need to build it. Oh, does it? To a navigate spaceship the spaceship. Need, okay. Fair we enough. own it already. Okay. So we got the spaceship. Yeah. Do we need to fuel it up? Probably fuel it up. All right. Yeah. So yeah, maybe our first step is fuel the spaceship. It would really not be fun to get halfway to Planet X and realize you have no fuel. No, that would <laughs> makes for a dramatic journey. Especially getting back eventually too, if, if Stemmy or ourselves want to get back there too. Oh yeah, no, yeah. I guess we live on Planet X now. <laughs> <laughs> that is our world. So we've got to fuel our spaceship. Uh, what comes next? We probably need to set up our launch pad somehow. Now I'll, I'll let the Ooh. you know the space engineers <laughs> figure that out, but <laughs> I guess get to slash. Set up on our launch pad. Sure. So set up the rocket on. Uh, yeah, set the rocket on the launch pad. Sure. Uh, chat, you are allowed to backseat game as well. Absolutely. So if, if you, this, this is, is your unique opportunity. <laughs> if you I would see like, you in chat. if you would like to give us your idea of what our next step is, go ahead and type it in. Um, yeah, set the rocket up on the launch pad. Go to space. Thank you. Thank Don't. you. <laughs> step one, go to space. Step two, question mark. Step three, profit. Yeah. Um, Step three. What's our what's our step three? So, so now we got the, the, rock, the rocket has gas. It has it is set up in such a yeah. way that probably is going to go up. I hope. <laughs> it's a we, unless, unless we want to set it up, we set the rocket on the launch pad. Do we want to put it set the launch pad or set the rocket up or? We want to go for it. Oh, uh, Marish Kebab says probably need a crew. Ooh, <laughs> Did we load, not recruit astronauts? Load people onto. How about load people and supplies? Yeah, yeah, load. I think that's fair. Load up people and supplies. And STEMI. Yeah, we also, of course, have to have STEMI, oh, of course. Weird. Otherwise, <laughs> we just we get everybody on the on the spaceship. We just take off without STEMI. And then <laughs> We're like, oh man, gotta, we don't we don't have the themselves. rover that's supposed to go out into the planet. Guess people, we gotta go back. Supplies and STEMI. And our good buddy Stemmy. There we go. Okay. Okay. So we, we're doing pretty good here. We got ourselves a full rocket of stuff and people and things. Okay. Uh, it seems like it's ready to go. What's step four? Blast off. Blast off. Obviously. All right. 
So well, is it, it is step it like, four countdown step five launch, or can we include that in one? Uh, that, but see, that's that's the magic of this activity is that kids can be very creative in the sort of different steps they take. Oh. But the thinking is less about like what those technical properties are going to be, right? But more about just exploring what you think it's going to take. Yeah, to get the, there, the right? logic of getting things in order. Right. Um, where another chat session is do a systems check. Yeah, systems check Probably, is a good idea. Probably, yeah, pre-flight pre -flight checks for our Absolutely. rocket, although we're running out of steps, Thank you guys. very much, Twister. But yeah, we're, we're on step four. Well, you know, there's a lot of just fly <laughs> through space, right? Like, but that's a step. This is the hardest part here for a while, right? That's true. For the most part. I mean, I guess we, we've got to think through it all the way. But yeah, systems check, and I would say, I mean, here's an if statement. If okay. passed, move <laughs> forward. If, do, we, do you want to put that failed. as part of four? Uh, if system check is okay, <laughs> only move forward if step we're good. Step five. I'll else start at one again. Well, no, I mean it's a it's a fantastic example. Of, we're trying to bring code right to a younger yeah. audience. So when you're in you know fourth grade and doing this in your classroom, you might be like, oh well, if you you fail your systems check, then you're not going to launch your rocket. But then when you move that forward into you know coding in a language or coding in blocks, yeah. that, that's called an if statement. And I think that's what's so cool about this is we're, we're really sort of adding these pieces together of you might just start from the to-do list. You might right. just start from your priority list. But then as we get more and more technical, you know, we, we, don't, we don't change what we're saying. We're just changing how we're saying it. And actually, we're going to do an activity in a little bit when we look through the class packs that is uh, for our pre-K students, and it's the same way. Yeah. <laughs> it's no, what's, it's, our, what's our process? It, it's really just making sure you can think through that process of what needs to happen. You're just essentially changing the language is all yeah. when you're moving along into like professional programming by comparison. <laughs> True. Uh, yeah. So we we had systems check if it is good, keep going. Uh, Marish Kebab, review emergency procedures with a pamphlet in the seat pocket in front of you. In the event of a water landing, your seat may double as a flotation device. Uh, I, I, your I seat hope, belt. I'd, I'd hope that our, our astronauts Use would at least have a end. pretty good understanding of all the, the problem procedures that might come up. I, I would hope that we have trained astronauts on our ship, but that is a good point. Um, so why don't, we, why don't we go for, like, start the engines. Yeah, start the point. engines. Send a guy out with a match and just stand <laughs> under the rocket and uh, start engines. Start engine. Are, how are we? We still have to land. This this is where I said we only have 10 steps. We still have to get there. We, well, first we, of all, we haven't even taken off yet. We've only got half the steps left. And then well, we have so to land. Now, the start engines, and then the rest of the, the rocket just does a lot of it's on its own. Oh, right? OK. Then, we have a fully automatic rocket. Yeah, here. yeah. You know, it, it, it's just you hit the, We're you on hit the autopilot. start button, they all take a nap, and then seven months later, they're on planet X. Oh, it's great. easy. Let's yeah. do it. <laughs> yeah, let's go right now. Um, I'm thinking, like, uh, I think this is take, fly. like, take. <laughs> Fly in space. <laughs> just fly. Um, I would go, yeah, like take off and s like start flight path. Yeah. Start I'd flight plan. Astronauts maybe? in chat, please respond. <laughs> How does this work? Help. We are, <laughs> we are but lowly first alum and mentors. We need, <laughs> I need, we need assistance. I need astronauts. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, so take off, start flight plan. So now, as let's say we've escaped Earth atmosphere, we're going into space. Yeah, there's some like navigation, you know, follow your. I think follow of it as space GPS. How about that? <laughs> yes, perfect. I see. I think about it like airplanes, right, right, where they get like waypoints, then you have to turn to this heading, and then you get a new wave. I'm assuming space flights like that. Sure. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you just adjust your trajectory Follow space a little GPS. bit. Follow space GPS. Absolutely. Right? I'm down. As opposed to like having to do the math like they used to, which, God, that sounds miserable. <laughs> you're just in a spaceship going through it, you know, hundreds of miles an hour, and you're just like your scrawling it out. Your life depends on Re whether or not you put that four in that right spot right there. Respect to, <laughs> to respect for astronauts because we can't even do it in 10 steps right Indeed. now. Indeed. All right, so we're, we're flying through space. Maybe we're now approaching pro, uh, Planet X, right? Yeah, I think we've we're, do we? We followed our space GPS, and we can see Planet X. So we've got to figure out how to get safely to the surface I in feel three like steps. The first step is slow down because, like, you go. <laughs> I don't know if you have played any like space video games before, but like you're flying through space and you're like, "Hey, there's the planet." I just pump need the to brakes. Get a bit closer. You need to slow down because you're going fast. All and right, if pump you the brakes. Look, slow yeah. down. Uh, slow approach atmosphere. Down. Uh, as you get close to. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying to make sure I don't use yeah, big words like, right? as you approach Planet X, but as you get close to Planet X, yeah, slow down on approach, 
and then there's probably because right you have to get through the atmosphere yeah and then after you're through the atmosphere you've sort of got to, like parachute to the ground right so i guess that's what it is right yeah we've there's we were just talking about space movies we were. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we've got to we've got to like make sure we're at the right speed to cut through the atmosphere mm -hmm. This is probably more knowledge than a fourth grader would have. I think we're adding yeah, some Yeah, I think we're, we're like, adult. adopt the sky <laughs> crane procedure as you are trying to lo lower it down to the six, six minutes of terror, as they call it. No, we, we can Approach and prepare for landing yeah. is probably the best way of prepare saying that. Prepare for landing. <laughs> That is that is a better way of saying what we're trying to and say, which is slow down and show up on the planet. And you know what? The last one is perfect, right? It's just prepare for landing for SIP-9 and then land. Land successfully there we go. and without hey, incident. You know what? If that's part of the step, then it has to happen, right? Exactly. Land we wrote it in the plan. successfully. <laughs> we did it. Absolutely. Okay. <laughs> so... Again, we're really, with this activity, we're really just trying to think through, you know, what are the steps that a set of actions might take? So if you, you know, sort of projected this forward into coding a robot, let's say we're in the autonomous portion of a match. All right, what do I have to do? I have to leave my starting zone. I have to go get the game piece. And then I have to, you know, turn this many degrees, right? You could say the exact same thing in these steps before you even touch your keyboard about code. Yeah. Um, so again, we're, we're trying to make code accessible. We're trying to explain sort of the, the fundamentals. We've actually sort of written a baby little program. Yeah, well, yeah. Uh, it's a little more complicated than that, I think, in real space travel. But we've made it to Planet X. So tell me what's next. What are we? Uh, so now we're, now we're on Planet X. And I was just going to say, like, if, uh, if your kids are having a kind of trouble like I, I thinking through like space things, you can also pare this down to more simple tasks, too. Like, uh, make a bowl of cereal. Yeah, I was going to say, I definitely had like this that. in school, yeah. but it was um, teach me how to make like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. I've done that with but my if kids, you, too. But if you wrote, Sunflower. you know, like, you know, oh, put peanut butter on bread, you actually had to say, you know, pick up the knife, put it in the jar, like scoop some out. Like, if you just say put it there, then you're not really, you know, answering the question necessarily. Right. Although my teacher did do literally what we wrote. <laughs> And ended up part. sort of like scooping a hand I, into the peanut butter. Like it was good. I run, I run a summer camp where I do coding, and that's exactly what I do. Is yes. I make a total mess of the room to start, and then they're like, "Oh, this is gonna be a." Weird oh, we have to be specific, yeah. right? And that's good. But so uh, yeah, some good follow-up questions to what we were just doing here. Like, were we able to get the ship to Planet X in ten steps? I Nailed mean, it. Sometimes I feel like we maybe we've combined a few, mushed yeah. a few together, but I, I think we got there. Did we feel like we were? Did did we feel like ten steps was enough? Did we? Did I we think have any more ten. Or less? I would have preferred to be more specific in twenty steps. Sure. But that's a more complex piece of code. Yeah. Right. So, if if we're translating this truly into a a programming exercise and a coding exercise, yes, you could do it in more than ten steps. Mm -hmm. But that is a much more involved piece of code that you've written versus sort of the basics. And those basics might not be as effective, right? They might be sort of too basic or, or too unstructured, right? Like land successfully. OK, what does that actually mean? If I were really right. flying a rocket ship, it's put the parachutes out, slow down. Or I guess I have to think of it in planes because I don't really know how to fly a spaceship, right? You know, put the landing gear down, yeah, yeah, slow yeah. down, hit the runway. Sometimes, though, it is nice to just kind of follow like the KISS principle of like, keep it simple, land. scientists. Yeah, there yeah. we go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, see, there you go. So, hey, but on the bright side, we landed. We, we made, made it. it. We made it to Planet X. Everything is doing great. Now, STEMI uh, has come along for the ride to keep us safe because, of you know, I mean, we don't, we don't go out to Planet bring, X without knowing what's, got, what's going on out there, right? You got to bring your robot buddies. Yeah. And so uh, we so we will send STEMI outside to uh, set up a force field, you know, keep things nice and chill and cool and everything's good. <laughs> nice uh, and chill. Yeah, just chill on Planet X for a bit, do some science, all that, right? Uh, but you have to actually, we have, that means we have to send STEMI out. Okay. Uh, STEMI has to get to the front and the back of the ship in order to get okay. the whole force field going. As you know, you have to go to the, to the front and the back. Otherwise, the force field doesn't work. The uh, force field doesn't cover everything. No. What's the point of the force field? But what happened? Oh, no. <laughs> no. STEMI got trapped on STEMI. the surface of Planet X. STEMI was just walking around, minding their own business, dealing with, uh, with Planet X and whatnot, and a box landed from the sky. Crushing. What is in the box? Sky and Planet X. I Why are there boxes? Know. Did we it's land on dangerous. an unsafe planet? Apparently, 
That's why we sent STEMI out, but now STEMI's stuck, so someone's got to go get STEMI. Dang it, STEMI. Like, we, we checked with STEMI, STEMI's not moving. Okay, but we have to, we have to save him. STEMI's okay, just can't move, okay, I should just say. <laughs> He's not moving! <laughs> He's not moving! But we have to be able to get him back, so we're going to write some code for him. Yeah, well, so we, we actually have this uh, backup robotic power suit for one oh. of us. Uh, yeah, it, it, it comes it comes in one size, so I think probably I'll, I'll put it on. Okay, you're going to put on the suit? But here's the trick. It doesn't work by, just with me. Like, oh. I, I can't just wear it and just go out there and, like, uh, you know, try to save STEMI on my own. Actually, it needs programming. It needs it needs someone to give it the information it needs I got you. in order to actually get it moving. we so got to make some code together. we got to work together to get this code working. So I'm ready. We I got to save STEMI. I, 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 I used the, the, the spaceship's telemetry and positioning systems in order to figure out a basic map of the outside of the spaceship. And it looks, weirdly enough, like a bunch of boxes. Wow. Uh, it was really handy. So uh, there is our, th there's the path. Here we are at the start spot, all the way down to the bottom there, okay? Okay. And we need to get all the way over to STEMI. We need to, we need to make sure we can get over there. And uh, thankfully, the, the, the Suit works really well in that it just moves in certain like blocks of movement. Oh, that's which convenient. Is really handy. That's why that's why I built the map like this. So I only and when seconds, so but, you know. yeah, <laughs> it makes sense. So we can we can write the code with those symbols, and then the suit will understand the symbols. So each symbol represents different things. Exactly. So up arrow, move forward one square. Mm -hmm. Down arrow, backward a square. Turn and turn, and then pick up a box and put it down. And then we also have a command for repeating the previous step. So if we're like, hey, you know, they we're doing the same thing over and over again, why have like a 40 piece program when you could just have one that says repeat this yeah. a couple do, of times? Do this right? piece a couple times, yeah. yep. Which is pretty nice. All right. So the page I have is where we're gonna be writing our code. Right. So I've got a little uh, box here of where we're gonna write our code. So you are gonna be my my guide here to how we want to do this, but I because you have the symbols up right. on the screen. Right, so I got the symbols up here. So we start with our map. Yep. And we start there. So what do we so want to do? So we're starting at the bottom there. It looks like, based on my advanced years of programming knowledge, that we need to move forward one square. Okay, so that's so up I think, arrow. I think we need to move up, right? Now here's the trick. Here's the question. Do we need to move forward again to the next one, or? Uh, right bigger, bigger arrows. Right bigger. Get the giant arrows going. We got all kinds of space. I, the power suit needs yeah. bigger no, hieroglyphics. As it turns out, the, the power suit reads only in uh, font type 22 or higher. Oh, okay. Uh, so so I'll, sure I'll work on my, my font size here. Perfect. Now we got ourselves There we arrow. go. So there's the first, yeah, that's our first arrow right there. So now we uh, we, we move forward, which is doing okay. pretty good. Uh, someone in, uh, in chat asked, by the way, will this video be accessible afterwards? Absolutely. It will be both here on Twitch uh, as a Twitch VOD will be available to you. They're also going to cut it up and throw it on YouTube later on yeah. with different segments split for this. So don't worry. You're going to have access to all this soon enough, all right? Absolutely. Cool. So we got that first move down there. Uh, what do we need to do next? So we're right, we're right we're, here at oh this yeah, point. Oh, yeah. Use your cursor. I love that you and I both, as as streamers, will like point, point at the screen. Yeah. Like no one knows what you're pointing no, at. No. no, let's use the cursor like we're meant to. Yes, right here. <laughs> right there. Yes. Yeah. So we're in our first box, and we have to go forward one more. Yeah. But so, so we have two choices, right? We could either say move forward, or we right. could say repeat. Yeah. I guess it. We could do either. Yeah. Flip a coin. What do you want to do? Repeat or move forward? Well, you know, I, I think. So for this first part, oh. there's, there's only there's only a little bit of movement we need to do, but it looks like there's another path later on that'll be really handy to reduce from repeating instead. Okay. Maybe we maybe we can save it for that next. Okay. Time. So we're gonna. What am I drawing? So why don't we go for maybe another forward move? A move another forward. Okay. Yeah. Another forward. That'll look nice. Yeah. Uh, to the folks there's in chat questioning, uh, what is right in front of us is an FTC robot, and first we are gonna challenge. be. Playing with that in a little bit. We're starting with this activity and then we'll be moving on to some first tech challenge coding as well. So, all right, so step two, so, we've so got we moved our second arrow forward. Now. Yeah, so now we're sitting pretty good. You know, we've made it far, pretty far, but there's a cliff right in front of us now. It is, it, it just is okay. immediate. I didn't spot it until I, was, or, <laughs> until I was already there and now it's a little spooky. So we need, we need to turn away from that. Okay, so which way are we turning? I, I think it looks like it might be a little bit safe to the right. So to the right, we, we're safe we to do, the right? Maybe we do a 90 degree turn to the right there. Okay. Or is it to the left? I don't know. 
It's the right. Is the right? Okay, you checked. <laughs> I don't know my left or my right, so you <laughs> have to help me out with this. I took my very scientific method that I learned in probably first grade and did, you know, my yeah, two yeah. hands. Uh, it's, it's, and the one that makes an L is the left, and we need to go the other way, so we're going right. And there's an arrow to that at the end of it. Uh, Absolutely. There we go. That looks very font nice. Font size 22 is a lot harder to write in than you think it is. Especially with It's a, a lot of coloring. Yeah, yeah. But you know what? Coloring is fun sometimes. <laughs> I love coloring. Okay, so I don't have a way to show it with my cursor very well, but we have now turned this We've way. Turned. Yeah. So we're facing. So now we're we're facing towards the next part of the safe ground that isn't covered Correct. in uh, in like quicksand on, on either side, which is really handy. Uh, so what should we do now? So now we're facing. Now we way. need to turn to the left. We do need to turn. The question is, did, when we turned to the right, did we also move to the right? Oh, or do we, right. Do we Correct. still need to? <laughs> we still need to move forward. So, so we need to move. We need to move forward again, then, right? Right. Because we have Correct. To, we have to think from the perspective, right? Because uh, <laughs> we need to think from the perspective. This of, is getting confusing. Of the human, uh, the suit, as opposed suit, to necessarily yeah. how we're seeing it on the screen. There. So we've moved forward, and we've moved forward, and then we and then we've turned, turned to the right, which means that the the fa the robot's now facing that the suit, way. I should say is facing. Uh, yeah, to the right on the page as you see. So now we need to take another step because it seems like we need to get fully around that exactly. hazard. So we're going to go another step forward. There we go. Yeah, I think we're getting there. We're coming, Stemmy. I promise. We're coming, buddy. We're working on it. We got you. All right, we've moved forward. So now what space are we in? Okay, so now I think we're over we're in there. this space right there, right? Right. I think we're doing Correct. good there. So now I think... So we, we got around the cliff. The cliff was, that, okay. that was really spooky. I didn't like that. Yeah. I'm afraid of heights, but I think we're doing okay now. <laughs> so now, I think we need to turn the the other way. Is that right? Because we're, we're yes. still facing, I think, this way. Yes, so we need, we need to need turn to left. To go, quote unquote, up. Up, again, yes, right? to go up. Yeah. So we're going to turn left. And the real trick is, can I draw the opposite arrow? And it seems as though I potentially can. So right. we'll, we'll try our best here. So once we got that, then I think we, we have a we have a nice long stretch here. We can just go for a bit. Right? Okay. So I think we, we do need to move forward again, right? Yeah. Uh, and then I I'll get I think that guy can, in there. I think then we can try to repeat that. I wonder if we could like use that repeat step. And I'm just gonna it, does, it doesn't have it on here, but I'm gonna I'm gonna play around with the rules a little bit. What if we put a little number next to the repeat sign to tell us how many times we need to repeat? Yeah, we need to go forward. Because we're turned this way. We already moved then, forward one. Yep. So now we need. To repeat two more times. Repeat right? twice. So yeah. I'm going to draw the repeat, and then I'll do a little times two. Mm -hmm. And we'll make our code a little bit cleaner. That'll look real nice, because that way we don't have to have an extra three symbols there otherwise. And that's so convenient, because that's exactly where I need to go to the next line on our, Absolutely. On our worksheet. So oh, handy. So we actually jumped all the way from here all the way up to here now. So now we're all the way up here and we're doing pretty good. Okay. Now we just need to, I'm gonna scroll just a little bit. So we are all the way up here. The, the start is out of vision now. We don't have to worry about it anymore. So we are all the way up here. We're still facing quote unquote up. Forward, so we, yeah. So we still need to turn, right? Which, which way do we need? We need to we turn. We need to turn to the left. To the left. Our left, your right on camera. Just don't worry about it, it's okay. Uh, don't, don't worry don't about, think it. about it. Movie magic. Yeah, movie magic. So we're turning left. Mm -hmm. And then once we turn left, I guess we'll have to move forward again, right? Correct, because we've yeah. got to get to that next spot. Absolutely. So forward. So is this like coding for Lego League with blocks? In a way, yeah. It's it's a lot like uh, you could you could take this and almost translate it just using the blocks in like Mindstorms to do something similar like this. Absolutely. So now we're over here, and then we're going to move to the right. I'm going to go to the right. Yeah, as, uh, as was mentioned in chat there, it's, it, this is a method of coding called pseudocode. It means that you can't like take this and like throw it into a computer and it's going to do it immediately. But for you and me, it's really easy to read. And as a result, we can take that and then try to make a translation for the computer in a way it can understand. Now, once we have that, then we're facing we back forward uh, again, again. Yeah. And then I think we just got to we gotta rock it up there a little bit. Yeah, right? so we need to move forward two spaces. Right. Now we can have a repeat sign, but that would kind of defeat the purpose. Yeah. Right? If we're already we're giving one command after the forward, yeah. and that's either going to be a, another forward or a repeat. So I guess you could go either way. Yeah. But we've got our forward and then we've got to make it to our next stop, so we'll go forward again. 
I'm glad I also signed up for uh, art class today. <laughs> I'm sorry if these arrows are not, you know, yeah, just, perfect, just but as, we're as human. A, as a note to teachers out there, if you want to write big enough for the uh, for the suit to, under, to read in 22 point font, maybe use a Sharpie. Uh, <laughs> or just or, scribble it in a or million times. Of course, right? All right, so now we're all the way back up here, right? Correct. So now we, it looks like we can see STEMI in the distance. If I drain my neck over a little bit, I can see STEMI just hanging out. And which, unfortunately, which on a side box. is Which side is STEMI on for you? So STEMI, uh, so I'm facing forward, and STEMI appears to be my right. OK. Yeah, absolutely. So we need to turn to the right again. And then I think we're almost there. We're almost, almost. there, STEMI. And he's trapped under a box. So we that's, got you. that's the key. The key piece here, we see him, he's stuck under a box, and we've got to help him get out so that we can both go back to our our, our ship. And so we can have that force field set up and we can uh, explore Planet X properly, right? Absolutely. So now we're facing off to the right, and now we, we it just looks like we gotta, we just got to head on over, right? Mm -hmm. So that's what, uh, one, forward, two, forward. Do we want to stomp on Stemmy there? Or? I don't think we want to stomp on him. So I think he's already close. being crushed. <laughs> I think we need to help Stemmy's him out. Stemmy's having a bad enough day already, right? So forward, forward, yeah. and then pick up the box, we right? We need to pick up the box. So, so okay, box I'm getting ahead Stemmy. of myself. I'm going to do two forwards. Sure, yeah, those two forwards in there. And then, I, yeah, there's a box currently on Stemmy, and we need to get that box off of Stemmy. Uh-oh. Sorry, so Stemmy. Yeah. We're helping you we're, out. We're getting there, all right? We're coming, man. I'm glad we had brought the suit with us. I mean, can imagine suit. if we hadn't brought it with, right? <laughs> Be awkward. Just stare at him. Just Sorry, dude. Stemmy's, Stemmy's down looking at us. We're looking <laughs> at Stemmy, and we're like... He's like, why? You didn't bud. even come bring it out to help me. Sorry, bud. All right. All right. Now we got to do the, the pickup box uh, <laughs> Good, more right coloring. There, which is a square with a little arrow sticking up. Thank you. And if you are doing this at home in your own classroom with your students, uh, we're obviously speeding through it a little bit. Uh, this will take some time with the groups of students that you might have, but um, we are relying on our, our grown-up brains and our uh, you know interest in moving along instead of uh, staring at you. So what do we do? Through the magic <laughs> of 20-some years, <laughs> we, have, we have brought ourselves forward on this. I've, I've uh, made it out of fourth grade already, so, so we're going to so, continue. So we lifted off the box there now, right? Uh, and STEMI is now free. What do we do with the box? Do we need to, do we do, like, are we going to bring it with us? Are we going to bring this mysterious box in for yeet. science? Or we could yeet it, but if we, if we yeet it, we only have one command. I don't there's think no there's a command, command for yeet. So there's only a put down box. So we could put it back down on STEMI, but that seems like a bad idea. It's just mean. <laughs> just, You're just crushing. Oh, I'm free. Uh, what? Okay, so where do we need to go? I think we. Uh, I Are think we allowed to we... place the box off course? I mean, it's not our box, right? So we can just like throw it off, uh, <laughs> okay. off, the, off the cliff there, and it should be fine, right? Sure. So we just we turn picked it up one way or the other, right? Which okay. Doesn't really matter which one, I imagine. I don't think so. I think we can just let's go left because okay. we, we don't go left enough. We don't. You know, more left in this way, please. <laughs> I, yep, okay, <laughs> sure. We have fun. We have a lot of fun here on First TV. Okay, and, and the, bit, the best left. part about this too, so we, we've, we've kind of assembled this, now I think we just need to set the box down, right? Okay, and the box is the other way around. And then we're all set and pretty much ready to go. Oh, I see. So, uh, the, the fun part about this too, okay, so you know, you created this like fictional environment where... I almost uh, wrote, put the box up. Oh no! <laughs> We're okay. It was Higher. a it was a it was a coder error, not a not a robot error. Just lift it high. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I mean, what, what's what's fun about this too is, of course, you can have them just kind of figure this out in a, in kind of a fictional what if sort of sense, right? But you can also, and this is something that I personally have done with kids before, and it's a lot of fun, is then having one of them go out and do run the program that they have written together. And so actually we have an opportunity to do that now that we yeah. have all this written out. We have all these commands here and I, I'm going to go strap into my, my best suit the, here. The super suit. And I'm also going to break a little bit of character, be a little devious, <laughs> and set the box <laughs> set down. Set the box down over on Stemmy. Stemmy there. Oh no, oh, you're no. really coming for Stemmy him. Stemmy really got crushed there. He's not doing so Okay, good. so now I have to read you the code, right? Yeah. I'm so, sorry, the boxes aren't very big. That's okay. <laughs> so I think it, you fit in them I, though. I have one foot. And that That's will your, work that just foot fine. is yeah. the super suit. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Okay, perfect. All right. So, what are <laughs> Wait, we going to do? Wait, face forward. Here? There we go. I'm going I'm to right. hold it like this and we're going to be good. Ready? Okay. All right. <laughs> You're going to move go. forward. All right. So, I'm moving forward. So, I'm stepping forward. All right. Forward. Doing all right so far. Forward again. Okay. Here I am. I'm moving forward. Turn right. Okay. I'll turn right a little bit. 
move forward. All right, we're moving forward again. Now, when we when we said uh, turn left and right, it said 90 degrees on it, I think? 90 degrees. So Correct. that might be something to kind of discuss with your kids, too, of like, what does 90 degrees actually mean when it comes to <laughs> making these turns, right? Exactly, yep. All, All right. right, so we're there. Your next step is going to be that you're going to turn to the left. Turn to the left, got it. Forward. Forward again. Repeat twice. Repeat forward twice. All right, one. So forward. And two. Forward. All right, I'm getting there. I feel like he's right there. I could just, I could, I could help him, right? No, you're, I got to. Nope, you got to follow the yet. path. Uh, you are a little too tall for this power <laughs> suit right now. Uh, we are going to turn left. All right, turn and left. Move forward. Move forward. Turn right. Turn right again. Forward. 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 Forward again. Turn right. Turning right. Forward. Forward. Forward one more time. Forward one more time. Hey, look, the box is in sight. I'm kicking Whoa. it by accident. <laughs> so now you're going to pick it up. All right, pick up box. Uh, and you, semi is free. Semi is free. We've written that you could turn to the left, but you may have a little bit of a issue mm, with our studio, yeah. so we're going to pretend no, we fair. made that turn to the right. Turn to the right instead, sure. We're, we're going to adapt our code because yeah. we didn't foresee this being a problem. Right. So we're going to, you and know, then, cross that out and make it a right instead. Sure thing. You know, just got to edit and re-upload and all that good stuff. And then you're going to put the box down. And I'll set the box down. And STEMI is safe. STEMI is free. STEMI is A-OK. -okay. STEMI has conquered the box, and STEMI is doing A-OK -okay right there. So now we can go back to our spaceship and continue our research on Planet X. Absolutely. Which is pretty exciting. Yeah. Nicely it, done. See, we've, things seem like they turned out pretty well right there. I'm going to sneak back in the frame here. Com concluded our first uh, coding exercise. So again, if you're thinking about working with younger students, um, an activity like this with pseudocode could really be fantastic because you're not necessarily sitting in front of a laptop writing code. You're not even working with electronics. This is totally unplugged. We just wrote code, though. We, we put it together. We thought through the process. And we wrote some pseudocode. And we said, this is what the robot is going to do. And then we tried it out, and it works. Uh, we're going to do a little bit more uh, with telling our robot what to do and hoping that it works as well as <laughs> Shadow did it before um, with STEMI and all of that in just a little bit as well. So uh, nicely done. Yeah, I've We did it. I've First coding exercise, nailed it. Yeah, and so uh, this this is uh, one of kind of the, the sort of activities that you might be able to see uh, with regards to these class packs uh, that we, we were discussing a little bit earlier. Uh, this idea of being able to do these activities not only with the with, with the included uh, materials and supplies that have like uh, you know the ability to to run your robots and things of that nature, but also just learning how to think like a programmer first, and that's that's a really important part about it. We have again uh, class packs for every pretty much age group that you could possibly think of, right? All the way from uh, ages four to six with the first Lego League Junior Discovery Edition pack, uh, going then into uh, Lego League Junior pack uh, for ages six through ten. Uh, the Lego League class pack for uh, for grades, uh, I should say, um, ages six through ten for the uh, junior class pack, and then grades four through eight for the uh, Lego League uh, Lego League class pack, and then uh, we also have the uh, first Tech Challenge Our class first pack. Tech which, Challenge class pack. Yeah. Uh, we're going to actually take a look at a little bit more in greater detail here in a little bit. Absolutely. Um, but all of these packs, uh, having the opportunity to just kind of explore these ideas in a way that you may not have been able to before with the backing expertise that FIRST provides with this culture of yeah. kind of tech and science and learning th through it all.